back home. In this vlog, we're talking about food. I wanted to show you what I've been eating after being zapped into this crazy frog world. Teach him, Hot Pop. Hi, everyone. Today, we'll make a fun meal. Hopefully, we won't have to use my secret explosive ingredient. <laughs> you probably will. And what do you know? Okay, I'll show you step-by-step step the recipe to make amphibia bug roast. You start with a big, fat beetle. <laughs> Tricky little... Well, if your bug won't pass quietly, pit it against the next ingredient. Fine. And I'll let the winner go. Oh, okay, sorry. Dang it, they became friends. Then we'll just have to move on to the next step. Here, fight the next ingredients. Mmm, dang pacifist vegetables. The recipe then calls for boiling sauce. No toads, their shelter's too strong. Finally, when you pleaded for mercy, whip out your final secret ingredient. Boom shrooms! Yep, it always comes to this. It was all in the recipe! Hello, humans. Today, we're going to have a look at how frogs move. Not just walking, but also hopping. My buds, Sprig and Polly, are going to show us how to hop like a frog. Hi, everyone. Now before me, humans. Take it away, guys. All right, everyone. Let's start with the basics. We're going to do a classic lily pad leap. Crouch nice and low. Work that hiney. And leap straight up. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try this next one. The foggy toe twist. This one's a little tricky because it starts with one foot. And a one, and a two, and Ta-da! Mm -hmm. Eh, a little better that time? Mm -hmm. How do humans get anywhere? When did your legs grow in? Humans are born with legs. Ew. Well, hopping works best under pressure, so let's try something a little more motivating. Like what? Okay, Anne, the swamp is full of lake-chomping leeches, so just hop from one rock to the next without touching the water. Uh, Ready? Go! <laughs> Anne, you did great! I did it! Yeah! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> What's up, fellow humans? Today, we're exploring how frogs get around. That's right. We're going driving! So as you can see, no cars, no bikes, no scooters out here. Just bugs. Not just snails, either. We got ladybugs. <laughs> Big gross spiders. But for my money, there's no better bug than old Bessie here. Look at all the cool stuff she does. She's got slime trails, berry slicks. Oh, dude! And you think snail means slow, right? Check this biz out. Bessie, things are getting messy. Okay. Dan, you okay? Anyway, that's just scratching the surface of what this beautiful girl can do. See this? This is like her owner's manual. You can't even hope to get Bessie to move without knowing what's in here. You'll also notice that this thing is like 20 times bigger than a DMV manual. And I've memorized all of it. So maybe let's talk learner's permit when I get back, Mom and Dad. Dang it, Ann. Did you drive Bessie without permission again? Yep, I'm totally responsible enough for that permit. One hard part of being an amphibia was convincing the froggy locals that humans weren't scary monsters. It went from this. Ah! Was that good, Ann? To this. So. All we needed to do was start learning about each other. Sprinkier came up with the diagram to explain it all. I, uh, might have misunderstood the assignment. What did you do? I thought you wanted me to draw what I'd look like as a human. How could you miss the point of this so badly? No, for real, look. Check out the insane face bump on this one. Oh, and this one can walk on his big hair. Whoa, was that supposed to be you as a human? I want to do one. Wait, that's not what this is. Boop. Oh, swamp gas. Ha <laughs> ha, bow before the might of human Polly. Come on, guys. I didn't make this vlog to show weird drawings. What's all the hubbub? We're drawing, drawing ourselves, ourselves as humans. humans. Hot flies, <laughs> lay in on that. Done. Whoa. That's actually pretty good. Seriously, look at this. Okay, who wants to see my frog sona? Woo! Yeah. Draw! And done! Move your frogs. Jeez, Anne. Okay, we're done here. What's up, y'all? So something I've learned here is that frog hygiene is very different from the human world. Don't knock it till you try it. I miss showers so much. Anyway, I thought I'd use some makeup I found in my backpack to give these frogs a lesson in glamour. Glamour! Polly and Hop Hop have kindly volunteered to be our models today. We did it. Now, obviously, Sprig's never done this before. So everyone back home, go easy on him. Just try your best, bud. I feel nervous. All right, just a little more flush, and we're done. A fresh and natural look for a tadpole on the go. Sprig, show us what you got. <gasps> wow. Sprig, how are you so good at this? I don't know. I'm going to look like Hop Hop. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's due over time. Sprig, forget makeup guru. You're a makeup god. You've got to share this talent with the world. I am stunning. <laughs> Everyone looks so gorgeous. Turns out Sprig knows a lot more about glamour than I do. <laughs> oh. He's a god! Hey, y'all. So most of the 
time, we keep it pretty casual here in Wartwood, but sometimes we like a touch of class. So today, we're going to do something fancy. Hi, losers. I heard Anne was showing you her lame life here in Amphibia, so I wanted to show you how a real queen lives. My dope life as a battle queen. Lieutenant in the Toad Army is a lot of work, but totally rewarding. I get whatever I want, whenever I want. I have a whole entourage to prep me for battle. Dagger. Boom shrooms. Shades. Looking good, boss. I don't have to take sass from anyone or anything. Hey, Sash, do you have time to listen to my concert? Percy, you know not to sneak up on me. And best of all, I have my own sword. Which I use to subjugate villagers, especially little pink frogs who steal best friends. And that's what a nice tea party is like in Amphibia. I have the weirdest feeling someone was just talking about me.